Well, surprise, surprise, there's some drama on TikTok again. <laughs> Honestly, if there was enough time in the day, I think I could genuinely upload like 13 videos a day just talking about TikTok drama, because it feels like it never stops. And the thing I love the most about TikTok drama is that it covers like every genre. You know, when you see drama on YouTube, it's usually doing like copyright strikes and stuff like that. You know, everything kind of feels the same. But on TikTok, it can be anything. It can even be tattoos. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of you watching this video probably are already aware of what I'm talking about today, because it is genuinely taken over the app. I mean, this woman, here who complained about her tattoo experience is now banging millions of views with only like 39,000 followers. And you know why this video makes even more sense? Because today I actually travelled like an hour away from where I live to have a tattoo consultation to talk about like a future tattoo I'm gonna have. Uh, my first, actually. Yeah, and on that topic, I am shitting myself, by the way, if you are wondering. I am shitting myself in case I get a tattoo that is permanently on my skin and I hate it, but... Hopefully, I won't have the same experience as this woman we're talking about today. So yeah, we're going to go through the full story today and give my opinions. But before we get to that, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. We are genuinely so close to 400,000 subscribers now. And if you look at the bright side, once we hit that, I'll stop begging you. So I reckon it's a win-win. Right, so this whole situation started when a TikTok account by the name of Running Mum Off Boys posted a four-part story kind of talking about her tattoo experience. And spoiler alert... It's not a good one. Story time, hopefully one part. I'm gonna try to go as fast as I can. So um, I wanted a tattoo by this artist who I love, who's very talented on Instagram. I'm not, this is nothing to do with her talent as a tattoo artist, just kind of uh, the business practices that I've dealt with over the last 24 hours. Already far too nice, by the way. Like if I had the same experience that this woman went through that she's about to explain, I would not be given any compliments, but because she's so lovely, she says that the tattooist is a very talented person. Booked a consult with her a couple months ago. Consult was non-refundable. It was $180. That was listed on our website. That's fine. I paid that. We had a Zoom consult on Friday. Now look, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not exactly a tattoo pro right? I mean, I have none currently, but I had a consultation today and didn't pay for it. I don't know if that's normal, but uh, yeah, $180 just to talk to someone seems a bit steep to me. She then proceeded to tell me after I had already booked my, I paid for the consult. She told me that she had these three options for her design fee. So she charges a design fee to design her tattoos. So the first option was $1,500 plus tax. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Excuse me? Did you just say Fifteen hundred dollars plus tax for a design. We're not talking about the tattoo here, okay? This is before any ink has touched the body. For the design, fifteen hundred dollars. Concept sketch, and you can make one minor change, and then a final design that you'll review. One minor change for fifteen hundred dollars. I'm sorry, right? If I'm paying that amount of money, I want to be able to sit there through the whole process and nitpick every single minor detail. Now you can kind of see where this is going, right? This whole story is about a tattoo artist who is ripping people off, and it, unfortunately, it's not just this woman either, which we will get into. The option number two was thirty-five hundred dollars plus tax. <laughs> oh, uh, ooh, uh, gonna need a pause again. What the fuck is she tattooing it with? Solid gold. Like, I don't get it. Concept sketches and a couple changes. A couple changes. A couple changes for what? What was it? 3500 or something like that? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? And then option three was $6,000 <laughs> plus tax. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably gonna pass on that one. You know, I'll probably just go and buy a car instead. $6,000? Like, how much of your body could you actually get tattooed for $6,000 from most people? It's probably a ridiculous amount, right? But by the way, we're still talking about before the tattoos even happened to you. This is for like, the sketch. Basically, this tattoo artist is just preying on people who maybe don't know what they're really doing in terms of getting a tattoo and they may be a little bit gullible and it is so so scummy like i realize a lot of people might be saying that this woman might be at fault for like kind of going through with it but at the end of the day all the responsibility is on the tattoo artist and the fact that she is willing to just scam people because she thinks that she can is genuinely disgusting and we're not just talking about like an extra hundred dollars here and there by the way like these numbers are extortionate and yeah, it, it's honestly mental. Would get multiple sketches and lots of reviews and lots of changes and like a canvas of your concept. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? God, you should have mentioned the canvas earlier. I'll take two tattoos. I kind of thought that that price was going to then be taken out of the final cost of my tattoo, but then I find out that it was not. <laughs> that 
doesn't include the tattoo. I'm sorry, I'm really struggling to get through this video. I'm pausing like every couple seconds, but this is insane. She asked which con which option worked best for me. Obviously I picked number one because like it's super expensive. What about option four? You know, like telling her to fuck off and never speak to her again. So Monday rolls around and she sends me this. <laughs> this is her concept sketch. Mm. It is nothing like what I sent her. It's nothing yeah. like I, what I wanted. I emailed her immediately to tell her that I wanted a full fox, I wanted a tail, I wanted the fox to be the main feature, I wanted to be less flowers, more fox forward, um, and I said I know I picked option one, but this isn't what I had asked for with my pictures I sent you. Right, so as you can hear, she received the design back after paying $1,500, and it wasn't the design that she wanted, it was completely different to what she actually requested. But if you remember, with the $1,500, you don't allow loads of revisions or anything, you know, you've got to kind of get spot on straight away. So if the tattoo artist doesn't listen to what you're saying, you're kind of fucked. And look, obviously, I'm not an artist, okay? I couldn't draw better than this if I tried for fucking years, okay? But it's not that great, is it? I mean, it was never going to be good enough to live up to the price you paid anyways. Like, realistically, no matter what it looked like, you were going to be disappointed. But yeah, this story, uh, unfortunately, gets a lot worse. She said that if I wanted another sketch, she was going to charge me the difference between option one and option number two, which is $2,260. What? 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 What am I listening to? So because the tattoo artist didn't listen to what her client wanted and drew something that she didn't ask for, she now has to pay an extra $2,000 to get another sketch. Yeah, my head is absolutely fried and we've only just begun here. But like, honestly, these are the two pictures I sent her, both full fox, both in yep. the same You couldn't have put, you couldn't have position. made it more obvious. I, I don't know how much clearer I could have been. Now we will actually get an answer as to why the fox turned out the way it did and that she didn't listen to what her client wanted, which is kind of her job. And that will be answered later on, but let's just say it's not even her design in the first place. So here's the email where she tells me that um, I didn't tell her that I wanted the fox to have a full fox, um, even though I sent her two pictures saying I wanted the fox to have a full fox. Okay, right, let's have a read through. Callum trying to read English again. God, this is gonna be a struggle, isn't it? When we had discussed the fox, you didn't say the fox had to be in the downward position. She sent you the pictures. You didn't mention that the tail had to be visible. She sent you the pictures. You said you liked the fact that it looked like it was in motion, which I do feel like I captured in the concept I offered. Really? I mean, maybe it does look like it was in motion, but that wasn't really my initial opinion at all. It's running and leaping through the frame of flowers. The petals give the impression- Okay, right, she's just big enough for her work here. The images you sent, I don't feel the fox is in a very natural position. They almost look a bit broken. But it, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. This is what the client wanted, okay? It's not what you want. It's not going on your skin forever. Yeah, I get that artists want to, like, express themselves and they will change designs. And, I, like, for me personally, when I went to go and speak to my tattoo artist today, I kind of said, like, I want you to- have a bit of freedom with it, like, listen to what I want, but, you know, you know better than me. But you can't just change the whole fucking image, right? You've still got to give her what she wants. So now I paid her, um, uh, $2,695. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why? Why? And, um, she's telling me that she wants another $2,260. Oh, what? <laughs> fucking hell! Does this woman just, like, owe, like, a ridiculous amount of money to some fucking gangsters or something? Like, why does she need this money so badly? Why is she trying to scam people out with so much money? I don't get it! So then she kindly comes back and tells me that I can, um, do this option, where I just oh. pay for option one again. Again, oh. for another sixteen ninety five instead of the twenty two sixty, and she'll make me another sketch. It's lovely of her. Okay, she's giving you good discounts here. What a bargain! Instead of charging you like just over two grand, she's gonna charge you like seventeen hundred instead. Hey, why are you complaining? I'm just trying to make her understand that I didn't, I wasn't aware when I booked the consultation that I was gonna have to pay this design fee. Um, and then I think that I urged her to put it on her website that she was going to charge people this before they booked in with her. And so she sent me this response. Okay, so I've just read through what this tattoo artist has replied back to this woman, and she is gaslighting to the highest extent. Like, I feel like sometimes on YouTube, the word gaslighting is maybe, like, overused, but this is fucking gaslighting if I've ever seen it. She's basically just blaming this woman and being like, oh, this was all your choice. Like, why are you blaming me? This was your call. At no point should you be charging this ridiculous amount of money for a sketch. 
We're not even talking about the tattoo yet. And she goes on to say that um, regarding my reference material, that it looks the, the other foxes. She didn't like the position they, they were in, and the one looked like it was um, scooting when they get an itchy back end, which I'm really sure that the artist that made those tattoos would be happy to hear that that's what she thinks their work looks like. And also, it's just not her tattoo. So I just don't get where she's coming from in the single slightest. It's my financial um, situation that I can't afford to pay for this um, redesign, then I should maybe like look at getting a tattoo in the future oh wow so she starts blaming this woman's financials like oh my god this tattoo artist is genuinely scum of the earth i don't even care so then she says like it I, am i saying i would have rather have not seen the design ahead of time um and we would have ended up in this same situation where i didn't like the sketch and you know what maybe that would have happened but at least i would have still had my 1600 dollars that i paid for the design <laughs> so she's saying to this woman now that Oh, well, if you didn't want to see the sketch beforehand, before it went on your body, you didn't have to pay the $1,600. Silly you. This doesn't even feel like a real situation, but unfortunately it is, because so many people have came out with the exact same stories. And if this situation couldn't get any more mental, after spending the thousands of dollars for this crazy piece of artwork, we then found out where this artwork was actually from, and it was actually just from Etsy. And as we can see here, this person who's just, like, kind of proven a point has just traced over it, and is now putting it over the desire that this woman actually got back from this tattoo artist. And there we have it. The same design just traced from etsy i could give you all the adjectives in the world i could say that this is shitty scammy scummy all of the words that i could fucking think of in the top of my head they don't do it justice this is honestly horrendous and here's another tiktok showing more of this artist's work and showing that she likes to trace very often after charging people thousands of dollars this is a tattoo by the tattoo artist at scammy people on these design collab take a good look at it this states tracers love to flip images and think they'll never get caught. Now take a look at this image. Literally the exact same image, except it's just been flipped. So I guess that's worth a few thousand dollars. And then we also have another woman who's posted a TikTok saying that they also had the same artist and had a very similar experience. I guess it was only a matter of time before somebody else came out with a story about this same artist. So oh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to share my story about how I was basically scammed out of four thousand dollars fucking hell this artist must be lauded by the way because it's clearly worked whatever she's doing she is scamming so many people for thousands of dollars so why does she need more money she's quoted me seventeen hundred dollars for that tattoo again going here and up to here <sighs> and she said 50 percent deposit due so 850 dollars so i e-transferred her the 850 dollars okay so that's for the tattoo let's see where the rest of this money's coming from because realistically that should be the charge right that should be like the payment probably it's not gonna be though appointment time finally comes uh and it's december 2022 now okay and a few days before the appointment she calls me to go over the design and she says, hey, I'm not, um, I'm not going to be able to do the birds. Like, I can't cover it with the design, so we're just going to do the shoulder. And I was like, well, that's not what we had discussed and what I was quoted. But look, we're already aware by now. It doesn't matter what the client wants. It depends what the artist wants, all right? This woman in particular. Always depends what she wants and no one else. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this situation is so mind-boggling. And so I gave some other suggestions about like coming up to my neck and that sort of thing. Uh, and she said, if you want to change the design, oh, yeah. then you have to pay a whole new consultation. Now, keep in mind, this is right after she changed the design. I give up. Uh, she said, if I don't like the new plan, I can cancel. Oh, yeah, wait. <laughs> I didn't even clock that. So you give her a design. She then said, oh, I'm going to have to change the design. You said you didn't like the change. But now if you want to change her change, you've got to pay. That makes sense. Uh, so a couple days later, the appointment comes. I show up at 9 a.m. appointment time. And uh, this lovely human doesn't even start until close to 1 p.m. And that will be $2,000 since you showed up on time and didn't realize that I actually wouldn't be ready till 1 p.m. Actually wouldn't even put it past her. That's a joke, but could be true. I don't know. We haven't watched the rest of the video yet. And then she says that she has to leave to pick up her kids. <laughs> This woman just has no shame. Uh, so where I left off in part one was that uh, she had tattooed me for two and a half hours, got the outline done, and um, then said that she had to leave. 
So I knew I was going to have to come back for a second appointment. Surely, right, if she has to cancel this because she has to go and pick up her kids or whatever, that is grounds to get your deposit back? Am I losing my mind right now? Obviously, I get that this tattoo artist doesn't seem to actually live in reality, so maybe she has different rules. Like, how has this went on for so long without her, like, losing her job at this point, right? I feel like it is grounds to lose your job when you scam people for thousands of dollars. Because, I mean, this story from this person in particular started from 2021, they said, right? So this has been going on for years, and she's just been getting away with it for years. She charges a daily rate and that I owe her $1,900 for today, for two and a half hours. <laughs> I was there at 9 a.m. She says, I didn't quote you anything. And I said, but you asked for 50% of the cost, which is $850. And that's why I sent you the $850 deposit. She said, nope, that's just my deposits. I charge a daily rate. So if you don't want to have the cops called on you, you need to pay me $1,900 oh. today. As we can see by the top comment here, someone has just said, y'all need to take this to small claims court because this absolutely is unethical and I'm pretty sure illegal. I don't know if that's the case, right? But I would fucking love it if they could actually sue this woman and get their money back. That would be a sweet end to the story. But speaking of a sweet end to the story, the original person we spoke about, running Mum of Boys, has been receiving a lot of love and a lot of support because obviously she was scammed, so people are coming together to support her. And a lot of people that are supporting her are tattoo artists themselves, and they're voicing their opinions of how bad this tattoo artist actually is. And one tattoo artist in particular, called Matt Vaught, I think that's pronounced, actually made a video saying that he is willing to fly this woman out to tattoo her for free and get the fox done properly, which is obviously a grant to the story. You may have seen this ever-developing tale of uh, tattoo artists swindling people out of money, running a scam, selling people the most expensive traced sketches. I want to fix this. I've been working together alongside my sponsors H2Ocean and my manager Jennifer Lee, and we are going to fly this young woman out to Los Angeles, California, and I am going to tattoo this fox. And because she's already out multiple thousand dollars, we're going to do this for free. What a brilliant end to the story. And uh, I think that's a good way to end this video too. So if you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. Subscribe if you are new. And let me know your thoughts down below on this whole situation. Like I said, I feel like maybe a lot of you have already seen this. But I, I can imagine like a lot of you also haven't seen this. So let me know your thoughts down below. And uh, yeah, until the next one, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, goodbye.